In this short video, we are going to look at Descartes' rule of signs. Okay. So Descartes' rule is a rule that is used in order to determine the number of possible positive and negative real zeros. Now this rule is not going to do anything about telling you if you have any complex or um, radical zeros, but what it does tell you is how many potential real zeros your polynomial has. Now the way it works is um, it follows two rules of thought. First is your positive real zeros and then your negative real zeros. Okay, So just as it says here when talking about your positive real zeros, you're going to look at being the same as the number of sign variations in P of X or less than the number of sign variations by a positive even. So for example, let's say my sign variations was 5, then my positive would go 5 or 3 or 1. Okay, So you're going to kind of count backwards in an even integer fashion until you can't go backwards any further. Now the same rule applies for your negative. So again it's the same as the sign variations, only this time we're going to use P of negative X. So we're going to input negative x, um, re-simplify your equation, and see how many times your sign changes signs. And then you're going to go from that number and then less the positive even. So again, it would be the same thing. If, say, um, I had five sign variations when I evaluated with negative x, then my number of negative real zeros would be 5 or 3 or 1. Okay. Now that sometimes can be a little confusing until you actually see it. So let's go ahead and take a look at one. So here notice it says um, that we want to find out what Descartes rule tells us for positive and for negative. Okay. So um, we have our equation here. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. So we have my um, q of x and we have x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus my 12x minus 8. And if we take a look at it, we're going to look at our signs. So we have a sign change here, here, and here. So what you want to notice is that we go from positive to negative. So this is one change. Negative to positive is two changes. Positive to negative is three changes. Okay. So here we are looking at positive and we are going to go from three or one. Okay. So we've got three changes and then we're going to count down by that positive integer and so three or one. Okay. Now we have to do it again but in this time we're going to look at negative x. So here this is negative x to the fourth minus two times a negative x squared plus twelve times a negative x minus eight. So you have to re-evaluate this and so here we're going to end up with x to the fourth. We're going to have minus 2x squared minus 12x minus 8. Now if you take a look at that, notice we go positive to negative, but then negative and negative. So here the only change that we have is this one, positive to negative, which is 1. And so here we would say that your negative would be 1. Now notice I have a power of 4 so in this instance I have either 3 positive or 1 positive and 1 negative. Um, so this leaves room for if you only have 1 positive then you would have a couple complex. Okay. So in this case this is just what Descartes rule is telling you are the possibilities. Alright, so that's it. That's how Descartes' rule of sign works in terms of your polynomials. So if you have any questions, uh, please, please, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Otherwise, I do hope you enjoyed this very short little video on Descartes' rule of signs. 
and I'll see you next time.